regularly scheduled programming will not be seen tonight. We're here on Woodward Avenue tonight to witness the greatest collection of cruising cars, I guess, anywhere in the entire wide world. Indeed we are. Stay tuned for WXYZ's broadcast coverage of the 1997 Woodward Dream Cruise. <laughs> I'm I'm Guy Gordon, and I'm here on Woodward Avenue, just north of 13 Mile, with my good friend Dick Burton from Oldies 104.3 WOMC. Hi, uh, Guy. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. This has well, been a fabulous, fabulous day. We've been lucky so far. The rain has held off just a few sprinkles, and uh, the convertible tops never had to come back up, so everything is cool. No, the thunder we've been hearing has been coming from underneath hoods out here on Woodward Avenue. Uh, the lightning has been greased lightning. It has been greased lightly. That's right. And uh, by the way, they've got a rule here about... Uh, about burnouts you know the fines are up to nine hundred dollars for guys that are trying these burnouts you'll hear them occasionally maybe during the show but nine hundred bucks for burnouts guy. if they're ticketing burnouts yeah then you and i are in trouble we are really in trouble, <laughs> <It's deep> trouble. <laughs> there, there's zero tolerance here basically for any kind of monkey business because they want this to be a very safe dream cruise this year this is really motown's mardi gras in yeah. a way because yeah, it it's is, a yeah. beauty pageant for cars yep that's right uh, i mean woodward avenue once uh, was the street racing capital of the world and uh, today, really, cruising is king around here, and uh, that's what we're all here for tonight. So uh, that's uh, the event for the next hour and a half, Guy. And speaking of the king, as we all know, today marks a significant day in history. It's the 20th anniversary of the death of the king himself, Elvis Presley. And now we have received information that Elvis has been secretly living here along Woodward Avenue. And we really? know that he had a real affection for cars. Whoa especially pink Cadillac, so it's no surprise exciting. that we have received some reports that he's been cited along the cruise route, and our ace reporter, Kurt Rivera, is looking into these allegations, and we expect to be hearing from him during our broadcast. Mm -hmm. Let's go first to Captain Dennis Dubacher up in Chopper 7. Dennis, any side of the king from your vantage hey, point? Are you playing Where's Elvis? We, Where's have been Waldo? The, we have been the helicopter with us, guy. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> we have been the helicopter with us. Well, show it. <laughs> no. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Happy uh, Dream Cruise. Hi, Dick. How are you doing this yeah, evening? Yeah, just fine, Dennis. We got our fuzzy dice as well. I love so the dice, there. yeah. <laughs> All right. In fact, these have a, a scent to them as well, you know. That's kind of cool, kind of an added benefit, I guess. Look outside of Deuce Chopper 7 to get an idea of the crowds and all the different cars, too. With this camera on this helicopter, we're going to give you some close-up shots of some beautiful cars of, of, all the way from 30, 40, 50 years ago, maybe longer than that, to right up to the date cars that you see nowadays on the street. But isn't this kind of a neat sight that you're seeing? Well, we remember from last year, we're seeing again this year all the different colors of the cars and all of the festivities and activities on both sides of the street just to give you an idea this is the biggest and most fun traffic jam we've seen we've been following stop and go traffic on northbound woodward at nine mile and ferndale all the way as far north as we can see to right where you guys are right now just north of uh, 13 mile southbound travel is slow from 16 to 13 but who cares live from news chopper 7 dennis newbacher reporting from the woodward avenue cruise back to you guys now dennis i know you don't have a rear view mirror in a chopper where do you hang your fuzzy dice in a helicopter uh, right uh, but I found a spot here in the helicopter that works just fine. All right. Right, right, right. There it is. Right well, there, there we See, go. There you go. Okay, fine. <laughs> Great view you've got there, too. Thanks so much, Dennis. We'll be getting back to you. Let's go to Chad Myers. He is at the Northwood Shopping Center down at Woodward and 13 Mile. Chad? Just about a half mile south of you, Guy. What a great little car show we had. Kind of an impromptu thing. Everyone driving their cars in, parking them, people walking around. A lot of folks standing around looking at the cars, too, on the streets. I have noticed, though, the cars are at least moving this year on Woodward. They weren't doing that this time of the uh, day last year. We'll have more on this car show. We will show you the Cadillac that Elvis first fell in love with coming up in about an hour. Also, Mary Conway across the street in the park. Mary. We're over in Memorial Park. Thanks, Chad. We've got some great cars behind us here. Also, some great crowds going on out here. We'll have a bunch of different things for you, including the taste of Royal Oak tonight. You know, they've extended the route for the Dream Cruise this year all the way up to Pontiac, and that's where our colleague Val Clark is. How's it up there, Val? Mary, it is unbelievable. By the looks of things in this parking lot alone and by the level of participation all over town, well, you would never believe that this is the very first year that the city of Pontiac has taken part in the Wood Woodward Avenue Dream Cruise. Now, last night, 400 of these beautiful classic cars paraded up and down downtown Pontiac. And tonight, many of these same cars and their owners, of course, are back for the rest of the festivities. Guy? Thank you very much, Val. As we mentioned earlier today, 
we have the 20th anniversary today of the death of Elvis Presley. At Channel 7, we set out to find the king. And those of you who thought that he was living in Kalamazoo and camped out at the Burger King may be surprised to learn that when we put out the call, he showed up. Actually, dozens of Elvises surfaced at our Southfield studios. Take a look. They were young, they were old, and yes, some were even bold. I'm proud to sing to see my buttercup, I'm in her love, oh, I'm all shook up. Thirty Elvis wannabes got all shook up for our judges. In the end, ten finalists remain, all hoping to be king. See if you can pick the winner. judge them we did and later on we'll announce the winner of our elvis contest i can't and wait it, it's incredible it's exciting very one of those exciting. guys came all the way from thunder bay ontario really to come down and to compete for this thing and he, mm -hmm. you'll you'll meet him a little bit later got off on. the hockey rink to do that's right else. that's right mm -hmm. uh, in honor of elvis's movie blue uh, blue hawaii which you'll see right after this broadcast the grand prize winner will receive an all-expense-paid trip for two to hawaii but right now we do have some breaking news serious really? breaking news what do you got has been cited seriously Let's go to Kurt Rivera. Whoa. Guy, we're here at the Royal Oak Post Office where apparently, allegedly, there's been a sighting of Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll himself. Apparently, there's some eyewitnesses. Ma'am, excuse me, can yes? I stop you? Did you see the king himself out oh, here? You'll have to excuse me. I'm all shook up. I understand. Um, Elvis, what exactly, you know, happened? He, he came into the post office, that, that burning, burning hunk of love, and he bought uh -huh. some stamps, and then, then he just left. He bought some stamps? He, oh. He actually dropped one, and I got it. I'll never lick it. I will cherish this always. I see. Well, we'll let you go on your way. Again, uh, Elvis has been sighted allegedly here at the Royal Oak Post Office. We're going to stay on top of this one. We'll bring you the details as they are warranted. Guy, back to you. All right. Yeah. And this is serious stuff. I we'll sure find is. him. I know Very we exciting. Will. Uh, by the way, folks, uh, the Birmingham Post Office is offering some uh, special stamp cancellations. The way it works, uh, they have one for each of the seven communities uh, that are involved in the event, the Dream Cruise. So uh, they will stamp the different post offices of Berkeley, Royal Oak, etc., all seven uh, at the Birmingham Post Office. So that's kind of a neat thing that they're doing to, uh, you know, remember this Dream Cruise, 97. And then you can use those Elvis stamps, as you've been wondering what, what to do with What to do, absolutely. We'll be back with the car that received best of show honors at the Woodward Dream Cruise Car Showdown in Fern. Dale, stay with us. We'll be right back. This portion of WXYZ's presentation of the Woodward Dream Cruise is brought to you by the brand spanking new Malibu, Motor Trend 1997 Car of the Year, genuine Chevrolet. I 
know a place. 